Will here, welcome back to the channel. I'd just like to say thank you to the three and a half thousand of you that watched my last video. A bit disappointingly though that only 80, 85 of you have subscribed to the channel. Please subscribe, it does help the channel grow. And leave some comments. Let me know what you want to see in the future. But anyway, let's get on with it. Here, on top of the tent now, I've actually fitted some roof bars. This should give us a more storage. We have storage already. We jack up there or even some roof boxes, some wolf boxes. So let me show you. I've kept them quite low profile. They can have two fixing points but I've kept it as low as possible. One to help with the noise reduction when we're driving along and I'm hoping that it actually looks better. One addition I have added is we never know what the sort of the weather is going to be like when we're actually inside the roof tent, is I've added a heater. On our previous expedition truck build, we used a Chinese air diesel heater. It was housed in a steel box hidden in the garage space. It was permanently fixed. The combustion air intake and exhaust exiting under the truck. The fuel pump was plumbed into the spare fuel tank. On the Expedition Trader build, I want a more flexible approach so that the heater can be used in a number of locations. The heater I have bought will need some modifications. I've already extended the cable on it. This is now five meters long with a cigarette socket plug on the end. So I can either use it in the Land Rover or I can use it in the trader or I can use it with my leisure battery, which is in its own box. You see that in the last video. What I've also done to it, is instead of it just having the normal hose on the end, which comes with it, I've actually added a five meter hose. So this could be laid anywhere with the uh, extension in electricity as well and this can be run up into the tent when the tent's up. What I've also done, let me show you the underneath of it. Underneath the heater, where the air and the exhaust come from, I fixed this pipe now underneath with a bracket to the air filter so that this now sits underneath and it's within the framework of the box. The exhaust the pipe is now fixed there and it's covered in a exhaust bandage so that no heat transfers into the heater itself. And I have a steel tube on the end. This way, the exhaust is detachable and the only extension is a half inch piece of pipe here. So then what I can do is when we need to set up, I can just put this on the ground. This pipe now just screws into the side there. And there, I have the exhaust. It also means it's completely portable when I want to take it around. So even if I want to use it in the Land Rover, or we just want to use it outside if it's cold at night and we want the air blowing from it, it's fully portable. We can take it wherever we want. And also it's easier to store. Hope you like the uh, modification. I think it's going to work quite well. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments. If you want to see how I built our last truck, I'll put a link below.